led you into this wacky freaking music business, Leslie? Well, much to the horror of my parents, <laughs> who still to this day probably could not tell you what I do for a living, and I've been doing this for 20 years. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I know. Less than um. me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I started when I was three. Mm -hmm. um, no, I was uh, on my way to uh, pre-law, and I was going to be an entertainment attorney. Music is my heartbeat and has always been my heartbeat since I was a kid. <laughs> I was that nine-year-old kid while everybody had the posters of all the, like, teeny bop, whatever. I had the floor-to-ceiling posters of Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, and David Bowie and in fourth grade. In so my you're room. a rock chick. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so, I, well, I knew that, but I just wanted to say it because it sounds so fun. Yeah. Ahead, so I'm a, I, I am still a rock chick, and um, when it comes to our company, anything alternative rock, <laughs> British rock, pop rock, punk rock, and I'm usually doing, you know, a lot of the rock stuff. Anyways, I um, had. A friend of mine say, a friend of mine is moving here to open a satellite LA office of a New York PR firm. Mm -hmm. And I knew I wanted to be, I was just going to be an enter entertainment attorney. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, I was always going to work with, with music. So mm -hmm. I interviewed for that job. I got the job. I bailed college. I said, do I want to sit here and, you know, do five more years of school or do I want to just get into the trenches? And I just got into the trenches. I do not have a college degree. You know, Danny Goldberg didn't even finish high school. Yeah. You know, and hello. Yeah. So you don't need, I know that there are music colleges now. Um, I taught myself everything I know until I started working for Mitch Schneider at MSO and then he taught me a lot.